There's a ton of speculation on X that CK Sync will have one of the largest airdrops of the year. And with this rumored airdrop, tons of investors have been providing liquidity to the various CK Sync apps. CK Sync is an Ethereum layer 2 solution with over 200 apps already running on the chain. So today I wanted to cover how to use the CK Sync platform and how to interact with some of the top apps in order to make yourself eligible for this upcoming airdrop. We have a lot to cover. Let's get started. So like I mentioned, CK Sync currently has over 171 million total value locked in its liquidity. And one of the most important tasks you can begin with is bridging into the CK Sync network. So on the homepage CKSync.io, they do have a bridge tab. We'll go there. So because this is an Ethereum layer two, you will have to bridge from Ethereum into CK Sync. So make sure you have some ETH on your Ethereum chain. I like to use MetaMask wallet and make sure you add the CK Sync era network as well. If you haven't, just click on add network and add it manually. So make sure you grab some ETH and transfer it over to the CK Sync network and approve the bridge. And after about 10 minutes of transfer time, make sure you send it back to the original Ethereum. Cool. And that'll be one qualifier you've completed to make yourself eligible for the upcoming airdrop. So another task I would recommend completing is interacting with the various apps built on the platform. So we can go to explore the ecosystem here. This would take us to the DAP radar page for CK Sync, and you'll see all the various apps built on the network. Personally, I'm a fan of using DeFi Llama. So you see the top ranking apps by volume. So rank first on the chain is sync swap so we'll interact with that one first and we'll click on website cool so on sync swap you can trade ethereum for some other coins just like other dexes so i do recommend making a few swaps here to increase your volume activity so for example take some eth swap it into usdc hit swap and confirm the swap i do also recommend using this paymaster feature so if you click up here on this gas icon you're also able to use other tokens for gas besides eth so for example i have some usdc in my wallet so instead of paying for gas in eth i can choose USDC as the gas fee. Pretty cool. And they do support other tokens as well. You can also provide liquidity to the pool section under pools. Just like a classic DAX, you have some of your favorite type of pools like ETH USDC or USDT and USDC. So interacting with this would increase your airdrop potential. SyncSwap does have a loyalty program if you click up here. Essentially, the more you interact with this platform, you will earn YSync tokens. And with these YSync tokens, you can swap them back for any other token you would like. And SyncSwap does have a built-in bridge so if you click on move it's very similar to the other bridge we use so you can swap in between ethereum and ck sync so the next platform i would recommend you interact with is the zero lend platform so here we'll click on website and zero lend is also a liquid restaking platform similar to eigen layer so we'll enter the app so on the home page make sure you're on the ck sync network and the zero lend platform does have an upcoming airdrop for this zero token so it's safe to say that any interaction and lending you do here will make you eligible for this airdrop as well. So similar to the Aave platform, you can lend various tokens within here. So for example, if you have some Ethereum on the CK Sync network, you can supply ETH and earn rewards. If you want to keep it stable, you can lend USDC stablecoin and again, just hit supply and enter the amount and approve the transaction. So Zero Lend also has a paymaster feature like I mentioned before. Here, if you enable this, you can pay for gas and other tokens that are not Ethereum, such as USDC. It's pretty cool. I do think using this feature will up your chances of a bigger airdrop. Under the dashboard tab, you do see your total balance and the amount you've deposited. I do also recommend if you have lent any tokens to borrow tokens as well. That would also increase your airdrop chances. And under rewards, I currently have over 603 points. So a very important note here, providing liquidity to zero lend lets you pre-mint zero token and also get a share of ZK Zinc's upcoming token airdrop. So here we have concrete proof that a double airdrop is happening. Make sure you get in now. And lastly, they also have the official bridge here. So if you click there, it'll take you back to the official CK Sync bridge. And the third protocol I would recommend you interact with is the Mute.io platform. We would click here and go over to website. So another straightforward DAX, you can make swaps from ETH to USDC and make sure you check out the Paymaster feature. Again, you can pay with GATH with other different tokens. Here under liquidity pools, you can deposit liquidity and earn fees. So for example, USDC and wrap ETH, we would hit manage and provide equal amounts of both tokens and begin earning rewards. They do have a reward section here where you can view your 
active rewards for providing liquidity. Under Amplifier, these are boosted farms. So providing into these pools will earn you boosted rewards. And under Governance, they have the Koi token. The VE Koi token lets you vote on governance proposals on the platform. So you can lock up some Koi token and begin voting. So that is the Mute IO platform, pretty straightforward. And don't forget to check out the other apps built on the platform. The more you interact with these, the higher your airdrop amount. So happy farming. Be sure to stay up to date with any airdrop and snapshot news on their official X page at CK Sync. And as always, if you have any questions, please leave a question in the comment section. I'll be happy to respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.